Hey Brick Blogateers, Will here, and today we're looking at three Brickheads from the Disney line to go along with the 100th anniversary of Disney. Now the first up is set 40619, Wally and Evie. Honestly, if you have anybody that you know that's on the fence about Brickheads, this is the type of set you'd want to get them to be sort of a gateway into, yeah, I could see myself picking up more. Because with them being robots, they break the mold in terms of, well, your standard blocky looking character. And that's normally the issue that I've heard with people saying, well, it just looks wrong. Well, robots are kind of meant to be blocky. So with them having that blocky profile, it really fits in and brings to life the characters that you see in the movie. Now, the, uh, when you do the building instructions, the first one it has you build is uh, Wally and then Evie. I would say Wally is the more interesting character. So let's take a look at Evie first. Uh, now, she's a very rounded character and they do a really nice job with the rounded the slopes at the bottom. Let me actually pull that off so you can see all the sloping that happens on the bottom to get that shape. And it uses the clear two by two brick, which we've seen in uh, pets when it comes to the fishes. Uh, another way they use the rounding feature is on this face area, they use the corner quarter tiles uh, on the tops and bottoms around here to give you the impression that everything else is rounded uh, and it's a very neat optical illusion. Uh, speaking of optical illusions, one thing they wanted to do is emphasize where her neck meets her body as being a crease that's open. Now they didn't want to use a black plate because that would actually stick out and make everything even more flush and, and square looking. So what they ended up doing is using a thin layer of clear one by two plates that her head rests on. That gives it a dimensional look that's all defined by shadows, which I've actually not really seen done in a brick head design. And of course, for her arm flaps, they use the pentagonal uh, tile as well. So she's the more simple of the two. Wally, is freaking adorable. Uh, he has his little uh, toolbox and little plant, which I believe that's the boot that the plant is in. Uh, he has treads for his feet. Now underneath, he does have clear one by two plates, which puts him in line with your standard um, base. So he fits on and it actually supports the rest of his body very well. Now the thing that I absolutely, well, let's go through all the sides so you can see Wally. Now, the thing I absolutely adore is how adjustable he is. Now, we've seen a um, brick head or two that has features that can be moved around. Uh, we just saw the Balrog with its tail and wings. Uh, this one, Wally's neck has two points of articulation, uh, right at the base of his head and at the base of his body. And what makes that different than say the Balrog is this gives Wally a very expressive sort of way to emote. Tilt it down, he looks sad. Tilt it up, he looks exploratory and, and interested forward he's intensely interested and it gives this sort of nice characterization to Wally that you just don't see with a normal brick head plus being a robot uh, he's supposed to look this way so I also think uh, these two come in the smallest box I think they actually might be cheaper than your average uh, brick head so probably 15 bucks, but even at 20 bucks, this was fun to build. And I thought, well, they couldn't get any better than that. Well, then we move on to set 40620, Cruella and Maleficent. Now, Cruella is the one that you build first, followed by Maleficent. But just like with Wally, I 
I'm gonna save Cruella because I really like her. Um, Maleficent has that iconic, almost uh, vase-like look where her dress flares out at the bottom. She has this high collar that sticks out on the sides and of course her massive horns. Uh, and it sticks out on all directions, no matter which way you look at the figure. So it captures that very classic look of Maleficent. And of course she has a printed brick on the front to emphasize the details in her dress. So she's simple, but instantly recognizable from a distance. Corella, on the other hand, is what, <laughs> what made this set, uh, I know in my wife's opinion, her favorite of these. Even though we both talked about it and we agreed, Corella is probably one of the scariest looking characters Disney has designed because of how sharp and angular she is. However, the interesting thing that brickheads do is it makes it cute. So Japanese would call chibi, where it, it makes everything more uh, squat, more uh, full, uh, so that they kind of look almost like a baby, uh, and that in turns makes them cute. And she went from the one of the creepiest looking characters I've ever seen to probably one of the most adorable, uh, because now she is, just looks like a fashionista. <laughs> Her uh, coat is absolutely fantastic with these wheel hubs, so that's a clever part usage here. Uh, her hair is of course the dual black and white. Uh, she has a small little details, like behind her eyes, they use a uh, colored piece to give the eye shadow. Uh, her hands are red as her feet to have the gloves and feet. Um, the building aspects uh, of this figure are all over the place. You have sideways building around the feet to have the fringe of the coat. You have sideways buildings with brackets for the lapels. You have clip and bar for her dress. Uh, and every aspect of this brick head, I was completely guessing as to, well, what's coming next? Because so much goes into it just to achieve those slight little details found in Cruella's figure. So I definitely say if you're looking for a good building experience, this actually trumps Wally and Evie, despite how novel of a building experience Wally and Evie are. Now the third set is set 40621, and that's Moana and Merida. So here are your more action-oriented princesses. And I knew right from the get-go I was going to look forward to these because of their hair. Uh, I it's a, it's always something that I look for uh, when there's like a lot of brickheads that come out. If there is, say, usually a female brickhead that has impressive hair, I will pick up that brickhead first because I will know I will have a much better time building out the hair. And when it comes to the box sizes of these three brick heads, this is actually the largest because of how many parts go into, well, their hair. Um, Moana is built first and you got a lot of tiny pieces that go in to form her curls. Well, whether it's the cheese wedges for her larger locks or the smaller little rounded tiles that go in making her hairpiece and then of course building out the flower crown uh, i believe she has a printed uh front as well as it's easier to see that the dress has the fringe with the teeth that hang down below her feet so you can see her feet and the teeth hanging out further below and of course her oar uh, i was actually hoping they'd actually put in the chicken but I have a Moana set that has a chicken, so I could add it if I want to. Merida has the longer locks. And the way they accomplish that is they use lots and lots of layered two by two round plates. 
that makes it go a little bit lower. Still has lots of ringlets, just like uh, Moana, but Merida's are uh, more elongated. So it was a neat uh, contrast to see between the two. These are both characters with very curly, wavy hair, but done in completely different styles. And of course her quiver and bow are very fantastic. Uh, this is actually, the first time I saw this was a hairpiece in a minion set, but now it's done in tan to show the tops of her arrows sticking out of her quiver. So um, that represents the brick heads that you get uh, following up the 100th uh, Disney brick heads. And these are really great additions to the collections. Like I said, Wally and Evie are probably what you want to start with, especially if you're not familiar with brick heads because they are so charming and they're nice characters so that can stand apart. Um, the Cruella and Maleficent are probably your best build experiences. And the princesses are your solid, uh, there's nothing wrong with them. And also great part packs if you're into that. So again, 40619, 40620, and 40621 are all your Disney brickheads.